Desperate times are calling for unusual measures in Europe's refugee crisis. For months, they've taken dangerous routes across the Mediterranean Sea. But now, some are taking an unlikely path through the frigid Arctic. CCTV's Francis Coe has more. For thousands of refugees, the road to a better life in Europe has not been a straight line. Many maneuver the Mediterranean's rocky waters. Now some are taking a gamble in the chilly Arctic. Refugees, many from Syria and Afghanistan, have visas to study or work in Russia. But some say the opportunities there are few. In Moscow, they do not provide us with documents. They say, go away from here. So they're looking across the border to Norway for a chance at a better life. I saw on the TV that Norway has good cities. They help you to study and everything. The border between Russia and Norway is more than 5,000 kilometers from Greece and Turkey, the more popular routes for refugees. Hundreds have ended up at a border post in the Russian town of Nikol, waiting to cross over. Norway estimates that since August, over 4,000 refugees have made the trek. And it's not flimsy boats this time, but bicycles. Russia prevents anyone from crossing the frontier on foot. Norway bars anyone from giving them a ride over. The choice of transportation is made more challenging in snow and freezing temperatures. Actually, all of our children have both fallen ill and are cold. My child's temperature is high. For those who haven't made it into Norway, their home is the lobby of Nichols' only hotel. Everyone sleeps on the floor, and it is cold. But like their fellow refugees farther south, these conditions don't compare with what they're escaping back home. I want to go someplace that I can be in peace and I can live in peace. So far I can. Another course in hopes of a new direction. Francis Coe, CCTV, Washington.